David, uh, we almost did all the things you said in the paper we need to do to win. Uh, if you just said get one last rebound, if you included that in your article, it'll worked out a lot better. Uh, next time, please do that. But you're one, you're one, you're one or two plays away from you know securing what you're working for. Uh, and, and unfortunately, it's going to go back, and people are going to say, "Well, John missed a free throw uh, that could have put us up three. But rebound comes off, three of our guys knock it out of bounds." Uh, but there's so many plays that you know. Unfortunately, as a coach, I think back to the first five minutes of the game, you know, not the last ten seconds of the game, uh, because we looked like we'd never practiced uh, the first five minutes of the game. I mean, it was comical the things we were doing. And uh, but to our credit, they fought back. And they worked their way back in the game to put ourselves in position to be there at halftime. Came out in the second half with the same type of energy. You know, finally shot the ball uh, well. Uh, had Lucas stepped up and made some shots. Austin played like we've, we, we, we know he's capable of playing. And uh, we put ourselves in position to win a basketball game. You get up five, six, seven, what we were there in the second half. And then we took a couple quick shots against their zone, uh, a couple ill-advised shots, and, and they made a couple plays on the other end. Um, and then we didn't convert you know, late in the game. And uh, that's, uh, you got you to be there for 40 minutes. But uh, proud of our guys. And uh, as long as they keep on battling and, and doing what they're doing, what they did tonight as far as getting their way back into it. We talked about slow starts all week, but we had that slow start again. Uh, I think you had that in there too. Uh, we need to eliminate that. And if we can, you know, continue to work on that, we'll be fine. We'll, we'll get back in here tomorrow and get ready for San Antonio and uh, see what we can do with them. I mean, it hurts, but like Coach Fancher said, it's, it's not even just that last few minutes, or it's, it's, I mean, it's stuff that happened throughout the game. It's, you can't just pinpoint one thing and fault that for uh, the loss. So it, it was a lot of things, especially the slow start. It's hard to ignore that. Without that slow start, we, uh, we probably win the game. No, I had to go back and look at it. You were there, weren't you? We, three of us went for it. I mean. We all just jumped into each other. Bounced There's not many it. times I'm going to argue if we have three guys chasing a rebound. You know, I mean, that's, that was just a, another hustle play. Bounced off somebody's hands and, and went out and gave them an opportunity to get that last shot off. So uh, uh, I've been begging for three people to chase a rebound, so I'm certainly not going to say anything to them about, about three people chasing a rebound. I'd be lying to you if I said I had an answer. Uh, I thought we were prepared, thought we were focused, thought we were ready to go. And then, but you know, <clears throat> A lot of things that get us going are, are making shots. We didn't, you know, our first few possessions, he missed one. We had a couple misses that sort of got us down a little bit, and they were scoring so easily on us. Our defense was just not zoned in, and I thought we guarded really well in the second half. You know, held them 34 in the second half. We got 53 to, in the first half. And so we got off to a bad defensive start, and we can't let offense dictate how we're going to defend. And I, I thought it did there early on. We got a little down on ourselves offensively. Made a couple subs. I thought Luca came in and gave us some energy. Najee came in and gave us some energy. Uh, but we got off to a slow start offensively, which affected our defense, and we just didn't guard very well. Uh, and that's a, I mean, obviously that's a big reason we had. And they shot the daylights out of it. I think at one time they were like eight for ten from three, you know, and coming off ball screens and making threes. They're throwing them in from everywhere. So credit them too. They made some big shots against us too uh, when we didn't answer on the offensive end. I mean, uh, we just can't do it. Like, like he said, hitting shots like. I mean, that, that shows, like, when we're hitting shots, we're playing better defensively all around with more energy. That, us hitting shots can't dictate that. that. I mean, that slow start came defensively. Uh, they were getting open looks. Uh, like, at one point, they were shooting, like, 70% from the field. You know, we got to get guys out of their comfort zones and feed off our defense instead of, like, feeding off it in the wrong way. Um, I, I haven't been shooting the way I – like want to shoot so I mean I just had to shoot myself out of it to be honest just coming here and shooting at night until it just feels good not just coming in here and shooting a certain number of shots I just had to come in here and shoot until I it felt good so I mean that probably led to me shooting as well as I did tonight so helps you see that first one you know you see one go down and get a little bit more confidence and and Austin does his work off the floor too I mean I'm, I'm, I'm talking about away from practice he's in the gym uh, as much as anybody working on his shot, and and uh, uh, he hasn't shot it as well as he wants to this year, uh, not as well, and not even as it relates to how much time he's put in a practice gym, but he's continued to fight through, you know, continue to play and uh, continue to compete, and uh, came to fruition for him tonight, and I hope we can carry that through here the rest of the season. 
Well, you know, the big thing, we, we shot the ball well from the perimeter tonight, you know, which was encouraging to see. Luca came in and made some big shots for us and shot it with confidence there. And Andrian got off to a good start in, in the first half. And then he got his fourth foul there that sort of took him out of the rhythm of the game. Uh, and then Luca fouled out, you know, later on there. And that's, you know, it showed our short bench a little bit, especially on the perimeter. Uh, when, when those fouls came along. But uh, I thought the ball movement, like I said, was pretty good tonight when they changed a lot of defensive. And I thought we, we wanted to stay in an attack mode because they changed so many defenses that if you sit back and wait and see what they're in, you know, and we, we end up going to the high ball screen a lot because they were having tough – John was doing a good job attacking off the high ball screen and finding people. You know, that way had nine assists again tonight and found the open guy. Uh, so we wanted to continue to stay with that some too. And we just took advantage of what they gave us. And I thought they left the corners open in their zone some. We had opportunities to get shots from there. Uh, so, we, you know, I think our, our offense did a pretty good job of adjusting to their changing defenses.